Brad Mogridge draws on his indigenous culture of protecting and caring for water resources. We're one of the oldest living cultures on the planet, but the fact is that we've survived on the driest inhabited continent on Earth. He is among three researchers to receive the first Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Scientist Travelling Research Award. This will allow him to visit New Zealand to learn from Maori culture. What advantages have they've got from, from some of their treaty settlements, but also from a legal point of view, from a cultural point of view, what methodologies they've considered to actually make their management of water benefit their tribe. Amy Searle works on new treatments for cardiovascular disease. Her own grandfather suffered from an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Soon, targeted drug delivery could be a less risky and invasive option than surgery. They only have surgical options. So we wanted to develop a therapy that patients could have before they reached the state where they needed surgery. So hopefully then they didn't need to have any surgery at all. Amy is inspired by the impact her work will have for all Australians, especially Indigenous peoples. The new therapies that we're developing here might be able to be used in a more rural and uh, remote setting as well. It's reaching um, Indigenous populations, which is a big driving force for, for my research. Tui Nolan develops complex computer algorithms. These kinds of models come up in education, public health and physical sciences. Tui's supervisor is a fellow of the Australian Academy of Science, Professor Matthew Wand. With his help and the award, Tui plans to visit the Alan Turing Institute in London, one of the world's leading centres in data science. He has a passion to share what he learns with the next generation of Indigenous scientists. Even more than motivation and pride, it's really about responsibility, encouraging the next generation of um, Indigenous students to um, study um, at university.